I thought I'd show you our pen setup. It's fairly simple because we don't have a lot of sheep, but it's based on having a race, which I'll show you later. I think that's really important. And then three sheep panels, and the rest of it is gates and bits of fencing. So, and the whole idea of this is that we start with a bigger um, pen that more a sheep that are shy will move into sort of opened up and then we gradually will move them through smaller and smaller pens till we get them to the point where they're contained in the race so let's we've got some sheep down in the corner of this big pen so let's just move them up and show you how this process works they are quite familiar with these pens so they know how the system works but normally i would be shutting gates in behind sheep that were shyer so that i can can contain them as I go. Go on, keep going. And I can use these gates as part of my herding because my the gate in my front of my body is the scariest thing I can offer to a sheep. And now we're moving them up, funneling them up more and more. Now this sheep has decided not to go in and that's because, that she, well, they are going in, but I would open this up a bit wider so that I had a, a more open funnel. So we're just going around, sort of turning a corner. And now I've got a funnel here that they've gone into because of the shape of it, that it's narrow at that end and wide at this end. And I can shut that up. So now I've got my sheet. They're not going anywhere. And then I can let them as many as I like into this race. Now this race is probably one of the most useful handling things you can have. It's worth having. And I can, if I'm, depending on what I'm doing, I might put a lot of sheep in here so they can't move around. One sheep on their own doesn't feel very safe. So usually a friend or two is useful. Okay, you can go in. And then I can shut the gate. Try to. Okay, so now I have the sheep in the race and they're all ready to do things like drenching and vaccinating. Once I have the sheep in the race, they're quite well contained and most sheep will be a lot quieter once they're contained like this. And it, then it's actually possible to start doing handling. So if you need to do things like check their teeth or see what's going on with an eye that's got a grass seed or an ear with a grass seed or do drenching and vaccinations and those sorts of things, you can just work through the, the race handling those sheep and even pretty lively scared wild sheep are actually much easier to handle in the race so i yeah it's probably one of the best tools if you've got sheep to have is a, a race that's appropriate size for your sheep and then the last part of these yards of course is being able to get out of the race and then they head off back to the wide wide world And the next lot are ready to come in. If you always put the sheep through the yards in the same direction, they just get to actually know how it works and they'll save you a lot of work. So these sheep will always come in that pen, in through this funnel and into the race and then out. So that's what they actually expect to happen. I'm going to show you how we weigh our sheep. We use these weigh bars that are normally sold for weighing parcels and they have a, a digital reader. And on top of that, we put a board And this is all set up in the race so that the sheep can walk through one at a time. So I'll show you how this works. OK, 
Okay, we need a volunteer. Let's go. Okay, make sure he's standing right. Yep, I get 36.8, maybe 36.5. He's moving around a bit. All right. And time for you to go, dude. Off you go. Good work. Who's next? One at a time. Okay, you need to come back a bit. You're standing too far forward. Oh, that's better. Okay, 42 roundabout. Off you go. going to show you how we tip our sheep up to do things like hoof trimming because um, some of our sheep are up to 90 kilograms and I can't do them on my own because I'm just not strong enough so we use this system and when it's a bigger sheep we use two people to do the lifting but this is a small sheep so I can do it okay so I just back the sheep up out of the race which sometimes involves a bit of tricky wrestling and up to this device that we have for catching a sheep or tipping holding a sheep and then the sheep tips up and sits there while we do whatever needs to be done so it can be things like trimming feet we just need to get him out now so we'll just tip this up And then lower him down and off he goes okay here's some ideas for how to feed sheep without having the food on the ground which helps with reducing them picking up um, worms uh, egg larvae from worms and also various diseases related to sheep manure so the easiest way is just to have a plastic tub come on chippies i do find with these plastic tubs they tend to blow away and and break after a while and for my short sheep the tubs are a little bit deep And another method is to use one of these tyre feeders that I think you get made for horses and they're good because they're heavy and they're low. And I find they work quite well for a small number of sheep, but the sheep do still step in them so you will find that you're getting manure into that tyre. But obviously not as bad as eating off the ground. This is um, a system that we use for feeding out hay sometimes when we have small amounts and we want to keep it off the ground. So it's just in a hay net, you can just buy these for horses and you can put them at any height and it makes the sheep eat slower because they do, and they tend not to spread it all over the ground quite so much. So it's handy when it's just a couple of sheep and not for too long but filling them up every day is quite a big task. This is our, the model I like best, which is made using a couple of cot panels and some timber. And we've set it up so the tray in the bottom is at the height that suits the size of our sheep, which are obviously small. And into this goes the pellet. If you're feeding pellets. And into the top, we can, this top section, we can put hay. Now these sheep aren't actually eating much hay at the moment because they've got plenty of grass. So I'll just give a little bit to show you. And that system means that that hay doesn't get spread all over the paddock. Like they have very efficient use of it. <laughs> 